The tragic death of Latina music star Selena turned the rising singer into an instant legend. The film about her life had a similar effect on the actress who portrayed her, Jennifer Lopez. Selena gave Jennifer bittersweet success. She earned a reported one million dollars for the role, making her the highest paid Latina actress. Not bad for a girl who grew up in the Bronx and started dancing in small stage musicals. Jennifer's real break came when she danced circles around 2,000 others to snag a spot as a fly girl on the series In Living Color. But movies are where this Puerto Rican beauty truly hits the mark. Movies like Money Train, Jack, Anaconda, and most recently a crime thriller with George Clooney, Out of Sight. What are you doing here? Jennifer plays a federal marshal trying to recapture an escaped bank robber played by Clooney. I'm a federal marshal and you're under arrest. Jennifer? Yes? It's great to meet you again. Good I to meet you I was at your again. wedding, but we never got to talk that day. I but know. I was admiring you. You're doing this fantastic dance. <laughs> very sexy. Yeah. And then I saw the movie yesterday, and uh, you're very sexy in the movie. I love that. I mean, I thought Thank it was you. the stuff that you had with George <laughs> was really hot. Yeah, we, we had a good rapport going. And, you know, when you go into it, you just never know. You never know how it's going to turn out. So when you watch and you're like, oh, we look like we like each other. That's good. Because <laughs> yeah. it really worked. That's what he said. He yeah. said he loved working with you. Yeah, we had a great time. We got along really well. And just he made my job really easy. He's so likable. He's just a really yeah, down-to-earth so guy and just super fun, super nice people. Just he, he had the crew in stitches all the time. We just had a really good time. I'm engaged to a guy, and he, he watches old movies all the time, and he goes, you know, where are the Ava Gardner's and Rita Hayworth? And we went to see your movie last night, and he went, well, he said, she's great. She's really got it. And you have, and I think it, it's wonderful because you, you were bringing women to a new level, especially with the sex scenes. Well, this movie, I think what you, you picked up on the fact that it has that, that old quality to it that it's yeah. like my mom my mom always says that when she has to see me in sex scene she's like so uncomfortable you can imagine my mom and dad right, right. Especially, especially my dad yeah. oh, forget it but to see things like this she always talks about how movies used to be and not too long ago either yeah. we're not we're talking you know 10 years back where it was much more you know just suggestive and the power of the mind and stuff like that and she's like it was so nice back then why do you have to do this you know and i'm like Wah. <laughs> I don't want to, you know what I mean? So this is really was a really beautiful, nice change, and it just shows you that that can work uh -huh. today. It certainly does. Yeah. The other thing I liked about the movie is the fact that she, the character you played, was tough. Yeah. Not nasty tough, but she had, like, spirit, you know? I took, like, uh, two and a half months to hang out with federal marshals and go to shooting practice and learn how to handle the rifles and the, the shotguns and all this kind of stuff. And that gives you a certain, there's a certain power that you yeah. have when you know you know how to use a gun. Right? And that's what these officers have, and that's what she had. And I feel like she had a macho side that I really had to tap into. That's why I decided to do that type of training because yeah. I really wanted to have that physicalness that these 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 law enforcement officers have they just have a certain toughness to them that's not forced exactly you understand what I'm saying like if you had a gun on you right now you have a totally different attitude you have a different posture your physical your physicality is different you know what I'm saying it's yeah. just a, an ease that you know nobody's gonna mess with you your parents must be really proud of you. Yeah, you're they are. You're doing commercials now. You've got this yeah. great hair commercial thing yeah, going I on on television. Yeah, I have a L'Oreal contract. Yeah, yes. oh, that's great. Yeah. Are you the first Hispanic woman to have that kind of thing? I am. I'm the first one they've brought on. So wow, it's, it's that's a breakthrough great. thing, and it's something I'm very proud of. Now, what did they say to you when you came to them one day and said, you know what, I'm going to be an actress? <laughs> I said I want to be a show business. They're like, yeah, right. You know, they, it's hard because I'm from the Bronx. Yeah. I'm, a, you know, I'm from a Latino family, and you know, people like us don't really, you know, we're not movie stars almost, and we don't have that many examples to go by. But we have great more. actors, but it's it's starting to come up. And for me, at that time, to say this is what I want to do, the odds seem so great. Yeah. And your parents just want you to have stability. They just want you to be safe. They want to know you're going to be okay. So it was hard for them to swallow, but. When I got my first job and I got, you know, I went off and decided that I wasn't going to go to college and I was going to really pursue this full time, that was scary for them, you yeah. know, and I understood. But luckily, eight months later, I got a job, so. Well, Jennifer, it you've really away. done it. You're great in the movie. <laughs> Thank You're you. going to be bigger and better all the time. Thank, and thank you. you. Thank you so Thanks. much.